In today's video, I'm going to show you two MCPs that will change your life or change the way that you use AI. You can basically allow your AI to access the internet as if it were a human. It can do research, it can create documentation, and it can get up-to-date real-time information. Now, this is something that we've been trying to do for quite a while. However, I'm going to show you some really interesting use cases that use cheap models to achieve something interesting. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be using Roo code, which if you don't know, is a fork of Klein, right? So you can either use Roo code or Klein for this. If you have no idea about Roo code, about Klein, whatever, then definitely check out the school. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. If I just go on module one, you'll see third party APIs and NPCs. We've got autonomous agents, Klein and Roo code, how to install them, how to use them etc etc so if i'm going too fast for you and you need that little bit of extra help definitely check out the first link in the description of this video now i'm going to be using visual studio code i'm going to be using 2.0 flash on google gemini just because we're doing a research task and if i just go to uh, mcps right on klein so it's this button here this is how you install an mcp right so the two mcps we're going to be using are fetch and brave right so i actually have both of these installed already i'm not sure why this is coming up with an install button because i do already have it installed if i go on my mcps installed you'll see here brave search and fetch these are the only two that you actually need you can replace everything you see in this video with one mcp which is perplexity the only problem with perplexity is in my opinion their model is actually not that intelligent and sometimes just makes shit up it's based on deep seek i don't fully trust deep seek uh, in terms of its ability to do certain tasks including research tasks right once you've got it installed on Klein, you can actually just go down here and press configure mcp settings control a control c and then go to Roo code press mcp right edit global and then control a control v to paste those settings into Roo, and then press done and you'll actually have access on Roo as well now I'm going to put this on boomerang mode. If you don't know about boomerang mode, again, definitely check out the school or just check out one of my previous videos where I told you guys how to install boomerang mode. What boomerang mode does is it sets tasks and then subtasks and then changes between um, debug, ask, architect and code, depending on what, the, um, what, what it's trying to achieve, right? So let's talk about what we're actually going to be doing in this video. So you might know of Outscraper, Google Maps Scraper, you can see the data right here. It's pretty in depth. However, I definitely think things are missing from this data, right? So we can actually get better data than Outscraper for much cheaper as well. What we can do though, is we can use their um, headers in order to guide our research, right? So I'm just gonna say, if you don't know, by the way, this is to make a directory, right? So in this video, we're going to be doing research on spas in Texas, right? Just a random, random niche, right? So find a spa in Texas and try and find out as much information as possible about this spa in Texas. There are some headers below to guide you. Try fill in a CSV. With all of this information, use the fetch and brave MCP, fetch brave to search things online and fetch to read the pages found. Use fetch, fetch text or fetch HTML, depending on whether you need images from the page you're scraping, right? And then we'll just give it these headers and then we'll see how it does. So you can see that was very, very quick, right? This is an extremely cheap model as well. So let's have a look. First things first, we need to find a spa in Texas. It doesn't use local, so it, for some reason, I don't know why, I've been trying to use local, brave local search for ages. It's never worked. Right, so subtask results here. You can see it found one called Lake Austin Spa. Now we're going to be searching the uh, Lake Austin Spa's own website to find information, right? And just imagine how many different use cases you can have for something like this, right? It's not just scraping. If you want to give up-to-date 
information to your LLMs about documentation, you can also do that. So if you're trying to code, right, with um, a specific thing, I would say Stripe is a good example, right? Then we can actually find the Stripe documentation and then use what we find to code, right, instead of coding blind. So this is what it found. Let's just press save here. And then right click here. Is it still going? No. Reveal in File Explorer. Did you see how quick that was as well? Gemini Flash was so quick for that. So we go to, go to import here. I can show you what this looks like. We can definitely get more details, I would say. This is just, I guess, the first, the first scrape. Let's see. Pretty good. Pretty good amount of information. It's less than the information here, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is still pretty good. Let's just say I need even more information than this. You're missing images and a lot of headers from the CSV I sent you. Come on, mate, you can do better than this. So it's doing it again now. This time it should be extracting images as well, extracting other things too. Um, and we should get even more information this time, right? And then that should put it into this CSV. I love how quick this model is. If this model is fairly intelligent, then for sure this is a really, really good way to do this because it's so much cheaper. So we'll say OK here. Still doesn't seem to have images, but it did get a bit more information there. So you can see paddle boards, kayaks, hydro bikes, etc., etc. right? And the amazing thing is this cost us probably almost nothing if I just press cancel here. It doesn't even say the cost. Okay, so this is one use case, right? I think we can do even better than this. So I'm just gonna grab this again. And we'll go here. Do not stop until every single one of these um, headers is filled in the CSV. Do not fail me. Uh, you will be demoted to um, junior data analyst if you fail this task. All your AI friends will laugh at you. Okay, guys, my plumber's just arrived here, so I'm just going to leave this running, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, come in. Okay, so in the end, I did have to switch over to a slightly better model. I had to switch over to De Gemini 2.5 Pro. I'll just say, give me the CSV here. So I'll probably have to switch to code, actually. And press Enter, and we'll just have a look at the final product here. Remember, this is just one use case. This is limited to your imagination what you can do with this. So let me just give you a few other examples. Before you code anything, look up docs. If you have an error, look up docs, right? Um, so you can start to build things that won't just have errors because it's using out of date documentation or information. This is probably the main use case uh, besides research. I love research. These tasks for research are absolutely beautiful. My advice to you guys is look for models when they're free. So right now we have Optimus Alpha, which is completely free to use, right? This model is perfectly capable of doing the task that I just showed you. Um, so yeah, definitely Optimus Alpha um, or just looking for models that are currently free. You could probably get away with Deep Seek R1 for this. Flash wasn't good enough in the end. It just, yeah, it, it wasn't really working properly. So we'll press save here. We'll right click, reveal in File Explorer. We'll go to sheets.new, or we'll just go to, yeah, we'll go to sheets.new. We'll go to file, import. Remember this wasn't very expensive, right? Compared to something like Outscraper. Not just that, we have more control over the information as well, right? So let's have a look at this. We have all this info. We have the founding date. You know, we've got all of that. Look at that. Bang, so much information here. There's some things missing. I understand that, but that's totally fine. Email protected. Okay. 
the main thing here is the reviews, right? I love the um, detail of the reviews here, right? You could also, if you wanted, you could do something that Outscraper can't do, which is generate tags, right? So if I write tags here and then said, add another column, which summarizes all of the other columns into tags, which can be used later to categorize the spars, right? So what that'll do is it will go through what all of the information you've got and generate tags, right? So for example, um, you know, it would get something from here like Texas Hill County or whatever, right? So we have here, these are the tags that it came out with. You could definitely work on this. So we've got spa, resort, lodging, hospitality, Austin, Texas, USA, luxury, wellness, all inclusive, lakeside, waterfront, adult only, privately held, found in 1997, rating 4.2, Revenue, not really relevant, but 26 million is crazy for a spa, what? 26 million for a spa, I'm in the wrong business, boys. And then employees, 51 to 200, and then beauty salon. Um, so yeah, these are tags, right, which you could then use to generate pages. So any spa that has the tag um, Austin will, would then populate a page that is called spas in Austin or best spas in Austin, right? This is how you start to build your SEO. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. These two MCPs alone are enough to fix the biggest problems with LLMs, which is access to real time information. But not only that, the beautiful thing about this is because Klein and Roo are autonomous, it's like giving um, internet access to an autonomous, what well, it, it is, you're basically giving internet access to an autonomous AI agent that can basically do anything for you. I'll leave the video there, guys. Happy Saturday. Go outside. Enjoy the terrible weather if you're in Ireland. It's actually cold today. It's been really nice for the last week. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.